Hello everybody. Today we're going to be working on on this Mercedes ML350. So we're going to be replacing on the ABS pump, the ABS module, which is located right here. So we're going to be removing this and replacing with another one. I have an error code that I have not been able to remove. So far, I already changed all my ABS sensor and it's recommended after the ABS sensor, the step by step, this is the next step that I need to go through, is to remove, replace the pump. Hopefully this will clear the issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with everybody how to replace the ABS pump. So stay tuned. Let's start the job. Once again, this is the ML350. It's a 2006. And it's a W164. So this is the old one, we already removed the old one and we place, replace with a replacement. So now we're going to try to connect these and after the connection and tie it up. So what we're going to do now. Trying to be careful to to screw it first. Make sure I get a good thread. Okay, that one is in easily. This bolt right here came with a replacement just to clack the thing up so it won't come out. The only thing you gotta be careful because you're gonna drain out a brake fluid and you don't want the air to suck the air up so you can refill it or make sure you got enough or you find a way to seal these right here. Meantime, you're replacing it. That's why I'm trying to be quick enough so I don't lose a lot of brake fluid. That one went easy. The only thing I'm gonna have a problem is this one right here. Probably got bent a little bit. So I need to find a way to tie that one out too. And I already put a pan under the car because I saw a lot of brake fluid going down. I had to use a glove to tie these things up with a single one by one so I don't lose the brake fluid. Remove this one back. Find 
the right one. All right, just change your gloves. Things getting sleepier. Just be careful how you tread them. Your challenge is gonna be this one right here for some reason. Because everything else went in. So I'm trying to find a way. Not enough room and I have to remove this. So to get a more room to be able to unplug it. can see not enough room but you just gotta be patient For sure, it's going in. That's a good news. And take your time doing this because you don't have enough room. Just making sure you're doing it right and you don't mess up the tray. Then it's going to be another problem. This is slow, but I think I've reached it. I'm just going to clean the surface. Clean the brake fluid. Just see if anything going to come out. So this is a 12 wrench. As you can see for these two and the difference is 716 for the bottom for the for this one right here so let's see I got another one so I don't want to mess up the trade which will go in okay Because the early I did with the hand, now swapping in. Okay, everything is on place. Clean all my mess. Here we go. 
I'm trying to place this one back. There's a plastic under which this thing sit on. You gotta make sure it goes in so you don't break anything. Okay. Let's sit tight. We're gonna place this one back in. Put the clipper. Make sure we put everything the way we were before. This one was for the bottom. All right. Looking for the screw. Second tight. The reservoir right here. There's just one screw that holds it in. Alright, just find a screw. So this goes right here to hold it. The only reason that I removed this reservoir was to give me a space. Oh snap. I forgot to plug on. Uh, the main event thing, the wire. So pretty much was to give me space to put this in. That's the only reason we remove the, this reservoir right here for the cooling. So before I put that in, let me just find a brake cleaner, clean this surface right here. And then clean uh, with the brake, I mean not the brake cleaner, the electrical cleaner as well. On the electrical side, you need this. That is done. Let me open it up, lift these things up. I'm trying to make sure I put it right. Alright. I just got this one in. As you can pull it, push it down, you can see this area for the connector start going for the so you can hear the click. That means it's ready right in. Doesn't hurt to clean the area. Electrical cleaner, and then I got the brake cleaner. Oh, So in the meanwhile, we're just going to inspect to see if there's any liquid coming out, which I doubt it. That is done. All right. So that's how you replace uh, the ABS module pump, or the ABS pump, as you can call it. And this is the module right here with the pump together. So changing everything, changing the pump, you have to go ahead and bleed it out. Yeah, 
this is where the brake fluid located as you can see all gone due to the fact like I cut it earlier when my brake fluid oops kind of lost that thing I gotta find it now find out my brake fluid was leaking so I put a container just to hold on to it but I'm just gonna go ahead to the Mercedes dealership probably the next day get some brake fluid and then pretty much after everything goes well I would go ahead and bleed the brake out this is the best time if you have to change your brake go ahead and change your brake or you can go ahead and bleed it out get rid of the air if there's any air that went through the system all right thank you for watching please subscribe and uh, there's more video to come and please like the video as well